y'all, my name is Simone Salib and today I'm going to be doing a demo with you on how I do some of my street art. We're going to do both a large scale and a small scale installation so we can wheat paste onto something we have in our house such as a sketchbook or a piece of wood or anything that you would like to be framed. Alright, so first things first, I put a protective barrier on the wall that is just simply a trash bag that I cut up. Then I put my butcher paper on top um, and taped it to the plastic. Um, when I do street art, I use a thinner paper typically just because it's a little more porous and easy to adhere to your surface, wherever that may be. Um, and then for the actual background, I am going to use some, some paint. This is some leftover mural paint from a previous project that I figured I would use for this piece today. First, I'm going to paint the background of my piece. Now that we have our surface painted, we are going to do an outline in pencil of what we want our illustration to be. I did an illustration beforehand, like I do a lot of times, on my iPad via Procreate. I use an Apple Pencil, and then from there I can kind of gauge what I want to do with my street art. So I am going to start sketching some of my illustration today. Now that we've done our initial sketch on our piece, we are going to get to painting. I'm going to use some acrylic paint. This is just some black acrylic paint I have. You don't have to use anything fancy. I've also definitely used wall paint in my time of doing street art. So whatever you have, use your resources around you. This is also just a Chinese food container because reduce, reuse, recycle. All right, now we are going to get to painting our sketch onto our street art piece. done our painting of our initial sketch onto our piece, we are going to put some words alongside of it. To do that, I'm going to use a Posca paint marker. You can also use the same acrylic paint and paint brushes you used to do your painting beforehand. Um, if you would like to use a Posca paint marker, it just comes out a little bit crisper, a little bit cleaner. Other than that, that's just a personal preference. All right, we're going to get to doing our words. Now that our painting is all done, we are going to start making some wheat paste. First, what we're going to need is some flour, some water, um, a stove or something that has fire under it, a pot, a whisk, and a little bit of sugar. We're going to turn the stove on. We're going to put in most of our water and with our flour right here we're going to put some more water into this container we're going to take a lid put it on top of our quart container and shake it up shake it up till it's all mixed up it should be like a thinner pancake mix this looks a little bit thick so I'm going to add some more water Add us some more water. I'm gonna shake it up again. This way you don't get any clumps. This looks like a pretty good consistency to me. I'm gonna put this in my pot. When I had to Next, what you're gonna do, take your whisk, stir it up. Stir it up. Keep doing that. If you stop stirring, it can definitely get stuck to the bottom of the pan. You want to do this until the water almost starts to boil a little bit and then it gets a little frothy on top. And then once you're there, you want to add a little bit of sugar. I'm going to keep stirring. Alright, now that we're at our bubbling stage, we want to turn off the fire. You can see that it got way thicker which is what we're going for. Then I'm gonna just take a little bit of sugar, go like this, 
I'm like an abuela in my kitchen. I don't always measure things. And voila, we have our wheat paste. You wanna put this into a quart container and put it in the fridge and let it cool off before you use it. All right, so since we are all in the house at the moment and being quarantined, I decided to make a smaller version of my illustration and I'm gonna wheat paste it onto a sketchbook. So what I'm gonna do is, this is what my wheat paste looks like after I let it cool off a little bit. As you can see, it's pretty thick. I'm gonna take a layer and put it onto my surface. I'm gonna put a pretty good amount of it on. Then I'm gonna take my illustration, the back side of it, cover it also with beat paste. Then I'm going to put it onto the spot that I put some wheat paste on before, find a pretty good placement, smooth it out. I start in the middle and then I push from the edge to the edges just to get all the air bubbles out. Once I've done that, I do one final coat on top. Anybody can do this and we can do this from the comfort of our own home. Okay, so I put my layer of wheat paste on. Now it just has to dry. This is what it looks like when it's all done. I can't wait to see all the things y'all make with your own wheat paste.